Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about Hegel's um, uh, anti-categorical imperative. Uh, his point of view, basically. As you know, we haven't done a video for a while because of we are extremely busy with other stuff. So now we're kind of uh, got a little time to go ahead and uh, contribute some kind of uh, intellectual data. With that, I'll turn the subject to my grandson. Go ahead, Tristan. All right, thank you. So as was previously stated, we're going to be covering Hegel's argument against Kant's categorical imperative, which if you're not familiar with the categorical imperative, we have a, uh, vi we have a couple of videos summing it up on this uh, account. So if you're not familiar, go check those out, definitely. But anyway, um, essentially, Hegel sought to argue against Kant's categorical imperative because essentially he thought that it wasn't a sufficient system for establishing objective morality. And now the reason why he thought this is because he thought that Kant's categorical imperative tried to establish objective morality from contingent arguments or contingent propositions. And what I mean by that, what I mean by contingent, is essentially a proposition that relies on something else to exist. So essentially it has a cause, it has a cause behind it, it has a cause to exist. And therefore it can't be objective because something objective needs to stand alone and by itself. Now, essentially Hegel summed up this argument by saying, okay, well, if you look at some of the propositions made by the categorical imperative, like, you know, it's wrong to lie because, you know, that contradicts, you know, your duty, uh, the, the duty of the mind, Hegel would argue against that. He would say that lying is only possible in the empir in empirical reality. So you can only lie to another person if you're doing it in actual, you know, physical reality. And as you know, empirical reality, actual reality, depends on the mind to exist, at least in the Hegelian worldview. Empirical reality relies on the mind to exist. So essentially, the empirical reality, which you're utilizing for your, you know, moral argument here, is contingent. So essentially, if you're basing your moral argument off of, you know, something that occurs within empirical reality, it wouldn't be objective morality anymore because it would rely on something else, you know, to exist, your proposition or your argument. So, so for example, you know, Hegel kind of thought, said that the categorical imperative was, is wrong because it doesn't rely on objective moral laws. So, you know, for example, you know, the proposition or the argument, you know, it's wrong to lie, it's wrong to cheat, it's, long, it's wrong to steal. All of these propositions, all of these arguments could only occur in empirical reality, in something contingent. So, yeah, that would pretty much wrap up the video. Thank you for watching. Thank you.